today I want to talk about a very important tool in our schoolroom, and that is our pencil boxes. As you've seen in one of our previous videos, over here on the wall, we have a shoe organizer, and the bottom, two, bottom three pockets, or rows of pockets, are for the pencil boxes. The one on the far left is for crayons, and then each child, and then the oldest child's box of just color pencils, like a 50 pack, I think, her glasses, the rulers, and then the second one over is for this box. Um, before I get to the individual ones, we have one box that no matter what happens, if they lose a pencil, this entire box is full of sharpened pencils. It takes a lot of time, but on days when I need to sit down in here because all three of them are doing tests at the same time, I'll just pull a pencil sharpener out and check the pencils and make sure these are all sharpened. And that way I'm still sitting with them, they're still doing their tests, and everything's okay. So that's for just everybody to use. Now, this is Faith's box. Her pencil box has erasable color pencils in it. Because she's still learning how to use color pencils. And so we thought the erasable kind would be better for her. And we also let them keep one regular pencil, which she's using right now. And then usually one eraser. Hers is missing out of her box right now. But each child has that one pencil box. Grace's pencil box also has colored pencils in it. And then she has a little eraser. And then she gets to keep colored pencils in hers. She has a couple of extra regular pencils in it. But that's what she keeps in hers. Is the regular. We let her keep one of each base color plus like a skin color, gold, and silver for when we're doing coloring with unit studies and I don't feel like pulling out the whole 50 pack. This has all the colors she'll need to make a basic project. And then Hope is actually done with her writing for a minute. But her pencil box is still over here. In Hope's box, we bought these really fat pencils so that while she's learning how to hold pencils, um, she's our ambidextrous one, while she's learning how to hold them with the left and right hand, she can use these. And then she gets to keep quite a few erasers in here just because her box is not as full. And when that's not in there, that box will tilt and that drives her crazy. And then um, she does get to keep one regular uh, thickness of pencil in hers. So that seems like a really simple project or a really simple tool for the schoolroom but a lot of people will overlook it and say oh we homeschool we don't need one of those I recommend getting these I get the smaller ones I even have one on my desk and please ignore the clutter we've been sorting through our unit study books and then mine's over here I've got one of the bigger ones but that's so I can hold the pencil sharpener calculator um, highlighters. I sort when I sort my bills. I highlight each section differently so I can look through it quickly. Um, all of the different colored whiteboard markers for our whiteboard, and then we also have a whiteboard in our kitchen that I use them on. And um, sticky notes, little pencil sharpeners just to have on hand, clips to mark places. Um, so that's basically what I keep in mind. I usually have a, a mechanical pencil in here, but I'm using it right now. So then again, there's another really, really simple tool to keep your schoolroom organized. And also, like I said, if you want a place to organize them, if you have a door to your schoolroom, I would highly recommend getting one of these uh, shoe organizers. The smaller ones are perfect for holding the pencil boxes, rulers, and all that. So thanks again for watching.